So here we are in the second video, and we're going to talk a little bit about parallel transport, but we're going to do it in a way that is not really friendly for beginners. In a sense, we're going to use quite a lot of categorical language. And the idea is, I mean, here I'm just trying to give some quick examples that will appeal to people coming from different viewpoints. So I'm not going to talk about the background material for this, um, but if you want some kind of references, feel free to send me a message or something, I guess. So what is parallel transport and how can this lead to the definition of a connection? Here's the idea. We can say, let's assume we have some path in X and we have some bundle over X. So here we could mean a, a principal bundle or a fiber bundle or a linear bundle. We could mean kind of anything at this stage. We just study bundles. Given a path, can we get some morphism between the fibers that respects the structure of our bundle? So if we've taken a G principal bundle, can it respect the G, the, the action of our group? Can it respect the linear structure if we've got a vector bundle, etc.? Is somehow smooth um, or holomorphic or whatever kind of analytic structure we've put on X, if there is one, and is functorial. That is, you know, given some path X to Y and Y to Z, we get the morphism from E of X to E of Y, E of Y to E of Z, but we also get one from E of X to E of Z directly by looking at our parallel transport functor applied to the composition. Do these two things agree? It turns out that this is exactly asking for a connection. And flat connections correspond to choices that depend only on the homotopy class of our paths. So this is something I'm not going to prove. I'm just telling you it's true. Uh, and you're going to have to either believe me or go and look it up yourself. But let's talk a little bit more about a specific example. Um, so if we study G principal bundles, we can think of them as functors from X into B of G. It then turns out that G principal bundles with some parallel transport functor correspond to functors from P1 of X into B of G, where P1 of X is the path groupoid of X. And this is the groupoid whose objects are points of X, and the morphisms are so-called thin homotopy classes of paths with sitting instants. Where here thin means that if we pull back some two form, we get something that's zero. So thin kind of means that in the analytic structure, we kind of don't see anything above one dimension, which is what you'd hope if you're looking at paths. And sitting instant means that the paths are locally constant at endpoints. That's pretty much all I'm going to say about parallel transport. Really don't have any proofs or anything here. It's a lovely story, though, and I definitely recommend reading some more about it. But the idea here is just to sh tell you that it exists, show you that it exists.